Good morning. Sorry for the really bad lighting. We have a power outage here, so we have no internet, no air conditioning. And we were like, oh, do we ask them for breakfast here? Or maybe they can't cook because there's a power outage. But seemingly, I think it's because they use gas, they are able to cook. So we've ordered ourselves two pots of masala chai, and I've just got myself some butter and jam toast. I've just got myself an omelet, so nothing greatly exciting, but hopefully it should do the trick. Side to going to Marangar Fort is that you have to walk up this super steep incline to get there, but hopefully it's worth it. The tickets to get into Maranga Fort cost 600 rupees each, which is 10 Canadian dollars each. Moranga Fort, which we are currently stood inside, was initially constructed in 1459 by Rao Joda, who would then become recognized as the founder of the city of Jodhpur. While we already know that this is up a massive hill, and that's our first observation, the other observation is that the work on the sandstone here is absolutely stunning. It's so intricate, and we're loving it so far. which is basically these thrones that would be placed on top of elephants and then people would ride them. And it seems like for centuries, the Indians have been using them to not only transport heavy loads, but also in combat because they could trample people and horses pretty easily. But it did say that they used spikes and hooks in order to kind of control the elephants. So it just makes me wonder if elephants have always been in service to humans, but kind of treated inhumanely.
so many thoughts on what we just saw and I don't even know where to start because I thought that was spectacular. The Amber Fort in Jaipur is a lot more rustic. You can walk through all of the rooms and hallways in the palace and you can do the same here except for there the rooms are not restored or finished. Here there is vibrant colorful patterns and decor on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floor, and the rooms are furnished. So you can see like the bedrooms, the living quarters, the business quarters, and you don't have to imagine how it would have been used because it's set up in that manner. And then the other thing about this palace is that they have turned a lot of the rooms into museums. So of course, those are not furnished and decorated how they would have been in the 1400s to 1700s, because my understanding is that a lot of what you're seeing today is actually from the 1700s, not from when it was originally built. But they have museums and exhibitions on weaponry clothing, you get to see these things called palaquins, which is how the royals used to be carried around. And just like most other things from back in the day, like the swords and everything, they're not only functional, but they are beautiful because like the handles have ivory and gold on them, or even the blades, they have inscriptions. I thought this was so worthwhile coming here. It has been. The only thing I'd have to add to that, because I completely share all of it, is this site is absolutely huge. And I think probably one of the nicest things is, in comparison to a number of other forts and palaces and stuff where there's been a lot of it that's kind of been a little bit restricted, just because it's not really available to visitors for one reason or another, it feels like you can basically go through about 95% of this entire site, which is amazing because one, it is huge, so there is so much to see here, but also it just gives you a real feel for it. It means that you can take it all at your own pace and it also means that, you know, for a place that is not exactly inexpensive by the standards of this country, then you're really getting your money's worth, which is fantastic. And the other thing is that the views of the Blue City are spectacular. Mm. You can see for miles and miles on end, and it's just fantastic. I don't think you can get a better view. No. This has been a really great start to the day. Absolutely. But now I think it is time for some lunch. Yeah. So let's crack on. So we come to a place called Omelette Shop, which has come very highly recommended on a bunch of different articles on the web, as well as in their own words, Lonely Planet and TripAdvisor. As you can see, the menu's pretty extensive, everything you can possibly think of under the sun. So we have gone for a masala French toast and a masala Spanish cheese omelette. We seem to love everything masala, so why stop that? So this is the masala Spanish cheese omelette and it's so big it seems to have come in too. It's quite hot. Here we go. Mm. Oh wow. So that is a very very good quality omelette anyway. And then they got like the sauce in the middle of it which adds a bit of extra spice. Honestly, I get the hype. It's great. This is the masala French toast, and I'm gonna give it a try now. Mm. That's just so good. It's nice to have it savory as opposed to sweet. Yeah, it just has some nice spice to it. It's great. Since that delicious lunch, we haven't really done a massive amount with our afternoon. We've done some work showered and otherwise just chilled a little bit yeah but now it is time for dinner so we are going to head to a spot that we've been to on multiple occasions they do some of the best samosas and kachoris that we have tasted since we came to india so we are as always super excited to go back and can't wait to show you i think it is the best samosa that we've had in india Absolutely. I think what they do, which kind of sets them a little bit apart, is they also throw mustard seeds to the mix, which is 
I don't know, it just adds a little extra dimension. It's beautiful. It may seem that all we've done is eat today, but we promise we did actually do things yeah. after we came back from the fort. Like, like drinking chai, yeah. Yeah, we drank some more chai. Yeah. Uh, and you worked really hard on editing, and I was doing Instagram and working on booking things, so you know. Yeah. One of these days, we will show you, like, a classic kind of day in the life with our routine, but that'll be for another time. <laughs> but yeah, let's go grab some food. We just got back from the shop with our dinner laid out in front of us and we are super excited to eat it. But that's basically about it for today. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. Oh.